example 3.1. In this example, we will explore example 1.7 and we will change some of the information given in this problem. The first thing we will change is the temperature of the surroundings, which changes to 10 Celsius. The second change is that an additional insulation layer has been added in top of the skin. One of the goals is to find out what is the thickness of this insulation layer if we want to achieve a heat rate loss of 100 watts. The second part of the problem is asking us to find out what is the resultant temperature of the skin. This is an steady one-dimensional conduction case in which all the properties are said to be constant. The resistance representation in this problem has four components. The first one is the conduction resistance in the skin fat layer. The second one is the conduction resistance in the insulation layer. The third one is the radiation resistance. And the fourth one is the convection resistance. The first step in the analysis is to relate the rate of heat loss with the total resistance. Since the temperature of the surrounding is exactly the same as the temperature of the fluid, we could say that the total resistance is equal to the change in the temperature, initial temperature, minus the fluid temperature, divided by the amount of uh, heat loss that we're going to have. By knowing these values, we find that the total resistance is equal to 0.25 kelvins per watt. The total resistance can be also calculated by adding the four different components in, e in this problem. Therefore, the total resistance is going to be the resistance that we have due to conduction in the skin fat layer plus the conduction component in the uh, insulation layer Notice that these two components are in series. And then we have the two components, one of radiation and one of convection. These two are in parallel. So we're just gonna add them like this. Now, in this equation, we know all the values. We know the total resistance, we know the values of K, we know the areas, we know the values of H, of HR, we could calculate. The only quantity that we do not know is the insulation thickness. If we solve for that, we're able to find that the insulation thickness for this particular case is going to be equal to 0 0.0044 meters. If we calculate it for the H of air. If we do the same calculation and we do it for water, we see that the insulation is going to be equal to 0 0.0061 meters when we do it with the H for water. Please take the time to double check these calculations and solve for the length of the insulation and compare the values that we got for air and we got for water. The next step is to calculate the temperature of the skin, Ts. The way that we're going to do is we're going to relate Q, the, the rate of heat loss, with the resistance due to conduction in the skin fat layer and the two surrounding temperatures, Ti and Ts. The one that we have is Ti and we're looking for Ts. So we simply write Q as the value of the resistance due to conduction in the skin fat layer and times the differences between the temperature. Once again, what we're looking for is the value of Ts. So if we solve for this, in this equation, we simply get Ti minus Q divided by K. If we plug in the information that we have, we find that the temperature in the skin is around 34.4 Celsius. Please go back and double check that these values are correct. Also notice that the value that we get for the temperature skin is lower than the core temperature as it has to be maintained at 35 degrees. This value is quite reasonable for this particular problem. 